Hey, Alan, it's Stephen Hill at Jaguar Land Rover West Houston. And for everybody else, you're on the lot with Stephen Hill. Check out this 2015 Chevy Suburban LTZ. So there she is, the 2015 Suburban. It's got some aggressive tires on here. Let's see what size they are. They're Toyos. It's like they're uh, 20 inch rims. It's got the Xenon lights. Back up a little bit. It's got the running boards there. Kind of pan through the side of the car. Sometimes the light plays tricks. Um, Alan, you just wanted me to make sure that the paint all looks like it matches. It does to me. And then let me check to see if I can feel any kind of paintwork on the edges here. That feels original. Try this one. That feels original. I'm not, I'm not detecting any paint work, so I think this side's all fine. Um, let me go back around. I'll try the other side for you, too. It's the uh, LTZ. It's got the crossbars up there. Pretty clean truck. Haven't really seen anything that I would point out just yet. Let's check this side. Got a little bit of a hickey right here. 100 and something thousand mile truck, that's not bad. I'll see if I can kind of say it's been touched up, but right in there. Back up so you kind of see the overall. That all looks about the same color, too. Pretty good shape, actually. Check the that feels original. Everything seems um, original to me. If it has been, so we did a really good job. Let me show the inside. So we break the video here, flip over the inside. I'm not sure what those are for. Maybe one of the Chevy guys watch this can uh, let me know. Keyless entry. Kind of the beige interior. It's like memory seats. Lumbar and adjustment there. Looks like a pretty good shape actually for the seats too. Usually you get a lot of wear on the entry bolster. This one's actually pretty good shape. The center is, I'll show you that in a sec. Four wheel drive is always good. As much rain as we get, adjustable pedals, cruise control, Bluetooth telephone. Current mileage 135, 686. It's got the heated seats in, the air-conditioned seats. A little tray for your phone. Don't know if that works as far as an inductive charger. Old school fold-down television or DVD player. We hop in. Got the radio boards, gotta step on them. It's pretty tall. Alright. Put it in reverse. Check out the backup camera. Right there. I turn the wheel, it kind of so turn the wheel. Go on, um, make that move around. Mm -mm. So this will um, close. You've got some USB chargers, old school, um, you know, cigarette lighter charger. Cup holders, this doesn't fold down. Or it folds down, but it just doesn't stay down. Don't think you want to leave it, leave it closed anyway, but. Some deep storage under here. Looks like some more charge points. Old school um, auxiliary jack. Passenger side's way better shape because you don't see anywhere at all in that bolster there. Probably primarily a single person driving. Looks like it was garage kept. See where they had the garage door opener stuck up there and up there. I think that's how you make the um, tailgate not open all the way. It's got the sunroof. All right, let's check out the back seat. All right, it's got the uh, captain's chairs. 
Come back here. A little bit of wear there. I'm going to say there's a baby seat or child seat used here at some point in the 130,000 miles that we used. Maybe one over there too. Still pretty good shape though. And you got the DVD player. See if we can fold it down for you. Not quite sure where the player is, but I'm sure you stick your disc in somewhere. There's your inputs. Plug your laptop in there. Another charge point right there. Looks like it's Blu-ray too. Cool. You got another screen right there for the back row, back row the third row. Got air vents up in the roof. Headliner's real clean too. Let me show you that. I'm gonna try to focus in on it. Third row back here. See that or not? All right, let's check out the cargo bay. Right there, it's power. There's your close button. Right there, we didn't do that just yet. It's got a lot of space back here behind the third row. I don't know if they call that the long or whatever, but lots of space there. Let's see what's under here. It's like some kind of organizational rack under there. A little space. And then you got uh, buttons to fold the seats down. Right here, it looks like another power charge port. Right here. Yeah, it looks from the back. All right, and then you push this button right here to close it. There she is. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me. Any questions you have, or if there's another vehicle that you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments, or you can call me on my cell phone. You have 24 seven access to me, 832-724-0244. Call me, I'll pick up.